One question I get all the time is, how did you start fishing professionally coming from Washington State? I live in Spokane, Washington, right in the Idaho border. Uh, really have some great fisheries around here. People don't know about it. They think of it as salmon steelhead country, but we have Lake Coeur d'Alene here. It'll take 20 to 25 pounds a day to win. A lot of lakes in this part of the country, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, are that way. Some really good fisheries, and this is really where it all started for me. Really, it sculpted the way I fish. We have a lot of diversity, a lot of different lakes, uh, different species of smallmouth and largemouth, that rivers, reservoirs, natural lakes. You see a lot of different things up here that uh, people that grew up in small geographic areas don't have that ability to see. There's a deer bedded under the tree right there. I don't know what that call is, but it's not working. So I feel pretty fortunate coming from up here. Just I've learned so much that I'm able to apply to where I fish tournaments, which is primarily the East Coast, sometimes upstate New York, Texas. All of it's on the opposite side of the country from where I'm from. Probably the closest I've fished to my house would have been like uh, the Angler of the Year at Mille Lacs in Minnesota, which is about 20 hours away, I think. Nothing's very close to here. I lived in a, a little bit of everywhere back in the south and fish tournaments back there. A few years ago, I came back and, and it's just amazing to come back to these places like Lake Coeur d'Alene here that I, I have so many memories of. You catch five pound smallmouth, you know, seven and eight pound largemouth, and just a lot of big fish and a lot of bites. And it, it's a really fun, relaxing place. And it's kind of a coming home for me, I guess, in that there, there's so much history that is backlogged at the beginning of when I started fishing, things that excited me about it. You know, there's memories of catching a, one big fish or losing a big fish. I remember trees that aren't even there anymore that I caught fish out of. You know, one of the fondest memories I probably have here, and one fish that, in particular, whoa. I'm trying to tell a story and dang smallmouth has to bite. So I was telling my story. I, uh, one fish, if there was one fish that sticks out in my mind as being instrumental in me getting hooked on fishing, it happened in this lake. I was uh, about 12 years old, I guess. Remember uh, up in uh, Swan Lake, there was a duck blind, flipped a black and blue jig in and caught a 714 largemouth, which was by far the biggest largemouth I'd uh, ever caught. Uh, my dad surprised me and got me a mount for my birthday. I thought we'd let the fish go. He kept it and mounted it for me. That's still to this day the only bass I have mounted, but uh, really a fish that sticks out in my mind is as being something that really got me hooked on bass fishing. That one fish was pretty huge. That might be a decent one there. One thing about up north, you don't know what you're going to catch a lot of times. It could be a pike, smallmouth, largemouth. Look at that. Big. Slimy pike. We reach in there and grab that for me. Somebody, anybody? That's him. That's a bass, actually. Large mouth. No. <laughs> Small mouth up here. Can't believe that in the grass. The Nico shroom strikes again with the fatties on there. Oh my god, a lot of elastic plastics. 
<clears throat> there's no better than that right there, that elastic, it's so buoyant. A lot of action. There's some pilings here. Some people might call it standing timber, but trees don't grow in lines and straight in a row like this. Thought I'd catch a largemouth. Just caught a pike. Now I've got a smallmouth on the board off of these. You can get a largemouth for the trifecta here. Just throwing the Nico shrooms up there with the fatties on it. It's pretty lightweight. It's a 15th ounce on there, so it's falling pretty slow. Gives them a lot of time to get over to it. Oh no. Uh, get off of there. I got one bound up now. I don't know if he's, he's still on there. I see him down there. <laughs> nice little largemouth we were just talking. Just caught a smallmouth, we've caught a pike. Now we catch a largemouth. A little bit of everything. Up north, they all mix together. They all bite that fatties. That's one thing about that bait. Everywhere in the country, it seems like they bite it. It's really fun, that, that kind of that coming home feeling. And now I live back here in Spokane, I'm able to fish it all the time, have a place on the lake that a little bit of time I'm not traveling, I should say. I, I get to spend some time out here and I still love to fish every day I can and there's no place I'd probably rather be.